John the Baptist proclaims, prepare, prepare the way of the Lord. And in that he is proclaiming that the Lord is on his way. He is coming. We are, he is asking us to prepare ourselves as well. And we hear in the gospel that people came from all over to listen to John and to be baptized. That people from the countryside, from Jerusalem, all went out to the Jordan River. And there they confessed their sins and they were baptized. And with that, in them, a change had begun. To bring about change in just about anything is difficult and challenging, even, even the simplest of things. I remember a number of years ago, in one of my first assignments, the pastor had asked the bakers in the uh, parish, who every year made nut roll before Christmas, to also bake poppy seed roll. I think he liked poppy seed myself. And they had never done that, although they knew how to make it. And that little thing caused a debate that went on for several weeks. We all want our world to be a better place. We would all like, for example, a, a cure for cancer. We would like to deal with the issue of malnutrition in a, in a, in a, in a way that everyone would go to sleep at night with a stomach full. We all want the poor to be cared for. We all want an end to violence, both that which is carried out by terrorists and that in which we find that takes place in our own towns and cities. We all want peace. But what are we doing about it? The heart of John's message is that if we want change, if we really want change, we want to be the one to bring it about with God's help and grace. We need to cooperate with what God has willed for humanity. And this is difficult. It's much easier to sit back and to expect everything else to change, the government to change, the world to change, other people to change. But if we really want things to get better, a change that we can believe in, we have to change. And that was John's essential message. The Gospel is calling us, especially in this holy season of Advent, to look at ourselves. And perhaps someone has mistreated us. We didn't deserve it. Maybe it was someone at work or at school who really enjoyed making our life difficult. Perhaps it was someone we barely knew who took it upon himself or herself to give us a hard time. If we responded with to nastiness with more nastiness that didn't do any, anything positive. We can change the world by responding in charity, in responding in love. In his preaching, John wanted to make one thing very, very clear, that people should not be changing just because they were drawn to his word, but rather because they were being drawn to Jesus Christ. We belong to Christ, we are his church, we are called to make his presence real throughout the world. For us Christians, love is not merely the opposite of hate. Love is the presence of Jesus Christ within us and among us, and it's that type of love that will change the world.